Hi everybody, this is Amy Sen. I am the author of the Avalon books and you might know them already or maybe it's time to read them because they're all about new earth, ascension and true love. And this little girl here is Jai. I don't only write in my books about the Intergalactic Federation of Light. They have also been part of my life for many, many years, and especially the Starfleet Commander Ashta. You might know him already, too. He will be with us today when I talk about the potential of 2022. We all know that times are challenging, and I think it would be incorrect to say the next year will be an easy one, because it won't. But, 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 it has a great potential for growth and also for things we haven't been able to do before. So, number one, Ashta is telling me, is that 2022 is the year of the lovers. And that's really good news because it means that people who haven't been able to come together since now will be to do so in 2022. This year will hold special portals and if you are awakened enough and conscious enough, you will be able to step through them and so to speak on the other side, meet your true love, your soulmate, your twin flame. There are many names for the one who is very, very special to us and the one who is the one to be with us. So if you have been waiting for that, now it's the time. Get ready. So these opportunities will be there over the whole year. And um, the main portal for this, which makes this all possible, which connects us to very high divine frequencies of light. This will close in the beginning of January 2023. Love will be very important and the couples which come together now, they have a very, very special mission. There are already couples working on that, but now we need more because they will hold the frequency of divine love in our world on this planet. And this is so, so needed right now. To hold this frequency, you have to be balanced and you have to be advanced in your personal development and also in your spiritual journey. But I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you will be that anyway, because otherwise you would not understand what I'm talking about. Ashta invites you to open your heart and to receive these frequencies right now from him this very, very special light, so you getting prepared to meet your counterpart very, very soon. In a way, it's a year where dreams regarding love come true. And I think this is something to really look forward to. The other thing Ashta says is, 2022 is the year of strength and strength can come in different ways. It can come the easy way, which happens if you decide to step into your strength, just to live it, to open up to it and to stand in it, to stand for your own truth. If you do this, you will enjoy this year in a way because you can feel and receive and see all the change that's happening around you and that's really leading to a higher developed consciousness. The other way to get in your strengths is a bit more tough or rough. So if you have doubts or if you say, I can't do it, I don't want to do it, or I'm not interested, life will push you. 
Life will say, it's time to do it now, and if you don't do it by free will, we give you challenges so you have to grow into it. It's your choice which way you choose. Both will lead to, to similar outcomes, but as you can imagine, the first way it's much more fun. True love and strength, isn't that a good combination? The Intergalactic Federation of Light has been watching over us for a long, long time. And especially now they're really supporting us if we are open to this. Um, not everybody will see aliens <laughs> or, or um, UFOs or spaceships. But if you're sensitive, you might feel that there is something out there that's supportive. And that only wants good things for you and your growth. Ashta has some recommendations for 2022 to make it easier for you to follow your path, to stand in your truth, to love, to open your heart and to hold the high frequencies that are needed at the moment to keep the whole situation in a balance. First thing is be as much as possible in nature. Go to the beach, go to the forest. If you have a garden, spend time in your garden. If you have animals, they are part of nature in a way as well. Spend time with them. Animals are so loving. If you look at this little girl here, she's pure love, unconditional love and joy. So having her around besides all my other animals is really supporting me and makes me more stabilized because we all have our moments where we might wobble and this won't change in 2022 it might even get worse so if you have animal companions be with them and feel good if you spend time with them and if you have been thinking about getting an animal now it's time to do that there are so many animals that still need good homes. Maybe you are one of the people who can give them a home and everything they need and love and respect. Number two is be very conscious with your intakes. It doesn't matter if it's food, if it's something you're watching, listening to, reading or people you spend time with. Everything that's of lower frequency will drag you down, especially now, because the energies are all very high and if you go in this lower vibrations, it will affect you much more than it did before. You will feel that straight away. So be a bit picky with everything you let into your life. It doesn't mean that you have to say bye-bye to all the people where you feel that they are exhausting you, using your energy or draining you. But be conscious about it and maybe reduce the time a bit you spend with them. And spend instead time with people that inspire you, that are uplifting, that are already working on new earth. Because this is the main task for 2022, to start working on new earth, to create the world we want to live in. I know many of you have already been working on this for a while, and so did I. But I think as long as we live, at least it will be a never-ending story. And now it's more needed than ever. We all know that. Let's be the light that shines on the planet and let's be the ones who hold this frequency so this light can come in and even more and more of this light can come in so more people awaken. Number three. Do everything that balances you and do everything that is um, lifting your energy level up. For example exercises it doesn't have to be hard exercises but something that trains your body and that keeps you 
on a vibrational level that you feel alive and that you feel your body of food eat light things eat healthy and organic things because if your body will be busy especially now with digesting heavy meals or unhealthy things you won't be able to hold this high frequencies that we need right now 2022 is the year where it will be mainly decided which way humanity is going will we go up the hill or down the hill i'm sure you know what i'm talking about do we want to live in control in fear or do we want to live in freedom and light and love it's our choice so it's so 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 important now to do so to speak the right thing and to do everything that's uplifting number four is follow your intuition your intuition will become louder and more clear so if you listen to it and if sometimes it might even totally go against your mind because your mind says but i should and your intuition says no 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 it's not the right thing to do i know it was on your plan today but there's something better to do follow it listen to it and your intuition will always tell you what's good for you and what's right and it's easy to to realize everything that makes you feel good that makes you happy that makes your heart and your soul sing that's the right thing to do and number five is be happy 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 i have to say last the last two years i found it sometimes easier said than done i mean i hold a lot of light and happiness that's my nature but with all the shadows around us even i had to find ways to get back to the light and to stay in the high vibration i would say the last two years were a good training for what's coming and i'm sure we are all prepared now and we are ready to do this and the good side of it is that we deserve it we really deserve to be happy and to have a good time we were not born to suffer <laughs> also sometimes it might have felt like that we are born to be light to be love to be bright and to be of high vibrations and number six is give yourself times out you will need rest and even if you had big plans for a day and you feel oh my god i can't do it today that's fine it's so important to withdraw from everything including media social media and all the things that are bombarding us with sometimes really really heavy energies but also having time off from work to regenerate and to recover so you really have the strength mentally and physically to stand your ground if you put all these things together it will be very easy to get in a successful way through this year 2022 is a very challenging year also a year of very very high potential and i hope you will use it and if you want to be inspired you're very welcome under this video you will find a link for a free ebook book one of the light of avalon you can download it and i really really hope my books will support you and inspire you to create new earth and live true love namaste